of uh, terror attack in the uh, West, though this time it wasn't in Europe, it was in uh, New York City where uh, a 32-year-old uh, Muslim from Uzbekistan, uh, Saifullah Saipov, he drove a pickup truck onto a bike path and uh, killed eight people, which included six tourists, and injured 11. He was shot by police. Is uh, still alive, which um, is, is somewhat surprising uh, after s such an attack. And uh, we found out afterwards that he'd been let into the United States on what is called a diversity immigrant visa. Now, it's certainly, I think, and, you know, I wouldn't blame Donald Trump if he said, you know, after this, I, I told you so. But, you know, he has been proved right that the United States needs to better control its immigration program. And now, even though the, you know, as it's called, the travel ban was, you know, quite broad, it had the, the right idea. And certainly, you know, even though the United States, you know, doesn't have as big a Muslim population uh, as Europe, it, uh, this just proves that... You know, the, the United States just has to be as, as careful. I think that uh, no country uh, is, uh, you know, um, good enough to counter all of these uh, terror cells that are spread, you know, around the West and around the globe because they are so decentralised. Um, in some cases, one cell might not know about the other. And and in the case of Britain as well, it's a surveillance state. You know, all liberties have been eroded. Um, so it is hard, in a sense, to actually stop all this terrorism through intelligence and in, information gathering. And sometimes you have to make a tough stand and say that, yes, 99% of uh, Muslims tend to be you know, decent people, right? So do mo most people in general seem to be decent. But of course, uh, there is the 1% that can slide through and can conduct uh, murderous activities, such as this tragic mowing down of people in New York City with a truck. So I think that Trump, uh, in signing this executive order to uh, do away with this uh, this form of uh, diversity visa is a good thing uh, because, in a sense, all immigration should be done on merit. And uh, getting people in for the sake of them having a different religion, skin colour or culture is completely counterproductive. What you need in an immigration network is to vet, uh, vet people, make sure that they are law-abiding, uh, that they can work and that their they're rough, they're rough ideas correlate with uh, Western ideas of, of you know, equality under the law and so forth. Um, but it does show that maybe Trump's actions uh, with the, the wide travel ban uh, was a correct thing to do because it is hard to, uh, to vet everyone that comes into a country, especially a country that is of 230 million people. Uh, tough stands need to be taken. I think the wall needs to be built as well. Uh, people can just pour through there. Uh, terrorism it would stop terrorism, would stop the drugs. But these lone wolf attacks and these decentralised cells are very hard to, to stop. And I think the way to actually stop these uh, terrorist attacks is to put a temporary ban on uh, immigration from terrorism hotspots. Trump did that. I think it's good. But we, we, we all need to, to t t take a, a hard look at this and uh, realise that it has happened through this uh, bleed heart, left wing, uh, let's let everyone in mentality. And it's completely counterproductive. Well, I'm surprised that this uh, diversity immigrant visa, and apparently it's not the first time a person on this visa has committed a crime in the United States, that this wasn't one of the first things to go when uh, Donald Trump took office. I mean, maybe he didn't know that 
you know, it existed. I mean, he can't know, you know, everything, but he's he's made sure that it that it's gone now. I mean, it, it's it, it's the the whole thing. It seems it's designed that you know we've got to you know make sure that the United States is you know co uh, culturally diverse, which is that's not the purpose of you know an immigration program. It's not for you know diversity. It's supposed to, uh, and I'll use this word properly. It's supposed to enrich a nation to to make sure that you know it contributes to their you know economy and and both their you know security and their their culture in, in a positive way well for instance in in britain um the jamaicans uh you know immigrated and yeah, there was a bit of problem with crime at one stage, but they assimilated to British culture, you know, uh, eventually. You know, they played cricket, you know, they respected the culture, uh, they assimilated. Likewise with the, the Asian community in Australia, many of them tend to be doctors, lawyers, very successful. There was, there was a bit of, you know, a um, uh, bit of friction there to begin with. But certainly I think we can see a pattern with these uh, largely Islamic communities is that they tend not to respect the law, a rule of law, uh, as much as some of these other groups that have successfully integrated uh, into Western society. They tend to create their own courts, uh, tribunal, tribunals in the form of uh, Sharia law and whatnot, and they tend to disregard Western law and Western custom. Uh, this all leads to isolation. Uh, they then the, the uh, ice and then isolation continues through the education system, which they uh, largely disregard and disrespect. Uh, and this leads them to becoming uh, disenfranchised and susceptible to uh, brainwashing. So I think that this want to isolate themselves, uh, be pure, be away from the infidels. Uh, this is all creating. Uh, this culture of terrorism, uh, and to see, to stop this culture of terrorism, we must say either integrate or go back home. Uh, it's uh, it's always interesting. I have to highlight the the left because you know there was no doubt that this was an Islamic terror attack. I mean, they found an ISIS flag in the truck, and they also found a note pledging uh, his his allegiance to Islamic State. All of a sudden, the left are now saying, "Don't politicize this uh, tragedy." Where if he'd had a gun, for example, they'd be saying, "You know, gun control uh, now." It's it's always. Uh, you know, when it when it doesn't fit their their you know leftist utopian agenda, they're like, oh, don't politicize it. You know, we need to more. But you know, if it, if it fits their agenda, then they're like, oh, you know, we must take you know action now. Well, that's true. You saw that with the terrorist attack uh, at the Orlando uh, uh, Dance Club in uh, Florida. Um, the there was um, a bunch of gay men shot up at the Pulse nightclub. Uh, and that, that was an interesting where that Islamic terrorism and that gun control, there was a fusion. Oh, what, what, what's, what, how do we politicize this? Was he, uh, was he forced to commit this terrorist act through the, uh, the uh, society that lacked compassion, that isolated him, or was it the guns? So, you know, that was an interesting crossroads there. But with the Orlando attack, we, definitely, there was a, we saw a spike in... Uh, the purchasing of guns from from gay people because uh, they wanted to feel protected. They understand that we are in an age of terrorism, and that the state can't protect us all. So uh, I do think that uh, that uh, it is quite clear that it was an Islamic attack. Um, uh, it was a very low grade attack. Doesn't require much planning. Certainly, I think that tragedy can. Uh, be undertaken through guns, bombs, trucks. It is not the, uh, the 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 weapon itself that's evil, or the tactic that's used. It's the ideology that is evil, and we need to realise that. Gun control, bollards don't work. It is tackling the evil and corrosive ideology of radical Islam that will make the difference. Uh, nobody is silly enough after this to call for uh, truck control because, you know, obviously, 
you know, we need, you know, trucks to, you know, transport things, uh, you know, we, which, you know, highlights that, yeah, as you said, it's, you know, it's not the, it doesn't matter what the weapon is, it's the person behind it. Yeah, for sure. And we need some common sense in this debate. We can't be pushing for for gun control or uh, for, for, uh, thinking that will make a difference or, or more diversity, more immigration from terrorism hotspots will make things better. We need to look at the logic, we need to look at the facts, and we need to do what is best for our nation and what is best for the West. This has been an Unshackled Fast. Please like, comment and subscribe. While you're here, grab our free ebook at theunshackledbattlefield.net and visit theunshackled.net for all the latest news and commentary.